Hello and welcome to my channel. She's in the chair. It's Joyce time. What do we have for this one? Well, I'm reading from Genesis 50 um, and it's page 84. <laughs> Come on, Lynn, get your brain in here. It says, turn your mess into your message. There we go. If you want to follow along, if you've got a Joyce Meyer Life Bible. For the keen eye of you, you may have noticed. I've got lots of colours today. Yes, <laughs> I just got up this morning and I thought, I want colour. <laughs> so that was what I did. <laughs> Never mind. I'll get over it. So what do we have today? Let's go. Turn your mess into your message. Joseph's brothers were afraid he would never forgive them for wanting him dead and for selling him into slavery. In Genesis 50, 20, we see that Joseph had a good and loving attitude as he gave his brothers the assurance that he had forgiven their wrongdoing. That was good, wasn't it? Neck has fallen away. They may have meant to do evil against him, but God meant it for good. It is amazing how many times Satan will set a trap for us, meaning it for our harm and distraction. But when God gets involved, he takes what Satan meant to destroy us and turns it into and turns it so that it will work for our good instead. Nobody else can make things work out that way, but God can. He can take any negative situation and through his miracle working power, use it to make us stronger and more dangerous to the enemy than we would have been without it. Joyce. My own situation bears this out. I was sexually, mentally and emotionally abused for many years during my childhood. This was certainly a terrible thing to happen to a child, and it was definitely a work of Satan. But God has worked it out for good. My mess has become my message. My misery has become my ministry. And I'm using the experience I gained from my pain to help multitudes of others who are hurting. I encourage you not to waste your pain. God will use it if you give it to him. He has given me beauty for ashes, just as he promised in Isaiah 61, 3. It says, uh, see the Amplified Classic or King James Version, New King James Version or New International Version translations of this verse. Something for you to go and look up. But I had to let go of the ashes. I had to learn to have a good attitude as Joseph did. I had to learn to let go of the bitterness, resentment and unforgiveness I felt towards the people who hurt me. When we've been hurt, it's important not to let the pain go on and on by having a bitter attitude. We hurt only ourselves when we hate people. We would not waste our time hating people if we realise that they are probably enjoying their lives and not the least concerned with how we feel about them. It's about right, isn't it? Remember, God is our vindicator and he will bring good out of what, en what the enemy intended for evil. There's sort of, there's quite a few things, isn't there? I mean, the things that crop up in your life and you think, I'm holding on to this and it's it really annoys me and I can't forgive and all this sort of thing. You don't have to like what anybody has done to you. Well, they're not saying that, but they're saying, forgive them and let it go. Because otherwise it just eats at you. You know, and you think, and it'll pop up every now and again. I mean, we all have memories that pop up and down. I had one last night. What was on telly? Oh, it was one of the adverts, and, and it's the Christmas adverts, and it's about, I think they take in a foster child being fostered at Christmas. And it just, somewhere in the depths in here, it, it brought a memory up for me of the second family I went to to be fostered with and I remember just being at the door and going in and you just don't know anybody clearly and you're being put into this family okay I was 16 at the time 
but I was a very young 16. I wasn't a, you know, a worldwide one that they are today. I was a naive 16. Um, but it turned out for the good. It, you know, it, it was really good. And I still keep in contact with my foster mum, even now. 40 odd years on, 50 odd years on. Oops, <laughs> quite a few. Anyway, what I'm saying is I I didn't have anything to forgive her for. What I had to do was to forgive my parents. That's tricky. It, it's not easy. Oh, you know, I can tell you it's not easy. But I have days when, yeah, no, that's fine. They didn't understand. They didn't know. They wouldn't. They didn't know what was the outcome or what was going to be the outcome. And then there are days and you think, why, why did you do that? Why did you didn't? Anyway, some days you can be stronger than others. Joyce is saying, be strong. Ask God for help and forgive others so that your mess, whatever was your mess, you can turn into a message. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so on that note, I should say, do give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe. Who was like subscribers? You stay safe. You take care. And it's bye bye for now.